which test should I take to become certified, and do I have to be a member of an association to take the exam? Well, um, there are several coding organizations, but in my opinion, there's only two main ones that are really nationally recognized and carry weight with potential employers. And that would be the AAPC, the American Academy of Professional Coders, and AHIMA, the American Health Information Management Association. And I threw together, let me see if I have this here. So this is just a little quick and dirty um, spreadsheet comparing AAPC to AHIMA. Um, I get this question a lot, Sophia. Well, you know, I'm a visual person. I know this would help me. It would help them. So physician-based exam, the AAPC's equivalent is the CPC, Certified Professional Coder, and AHIMA's, theirs is the CCSP, uh, Certified Coding Specialist, physician-based. For outpatient hospital, the AAPC has the CPCH credential, and AHIMA doesn't have um, outpatient only, but it is covered as part of this, their CCS exam. Inpatient hospital, the AAPC doesn't offer. And a lot of people don't realize this because they have the CPCH and people think hospital, they think it's inpatient, and it's not. I actually took the exam and that's when I realized it was only outpatient because I was getting all ready for, you know, uh, these inpatient type ICD questions and there wasn't any. And I left scratching my head like, that was so, why did I wait to take that? That was so easy. I was afraid of inpatient because I didn't have experience in that. So that's why it was for outpatient only. And AHIMA's very first, you know, coding certification was the CCS, and that's their um, Certified Coding Specialist exam. So in my opinion, I always, you know, say to my students, where do you picture yourself working? Are you already involved in kind of the physician outpatient world? Then I align myself more with the AAPC. If you're already in a hospital and you want to get into the coding department, then I'd align myself with AHIMA. And that pretty much, you know, helps people. If you're undecided and you're not in anything, I kind of lean toward the AAPC. I feel that getting that first job was a little bit easier than in a hospital, and there's a wide variety. I mean, you can work in obstetrics, you can work, um, you know, in geriatrics, you can be in a multi-surgery center. So there's, there's lots of um, different, you know, options. And I think there's more flexibility in, in salary, too, where I find hospitals are a little more um, kind of rank and file. So that's just my opinion. You know, ask around. Um, Entry-level credentials. If you don't have experience, both organizations require that you um, have experience to become a full-fledged, you know, to get your full-fledged coding certification. So for the AAPC, it's called the CPCA, A for Apprentice, and AHIMA has a CCA. Um, now for the AAPC, the apprentice, you can get the A lopped off, if you will, once you meet the experience requirement, you just send uh, proof to the AAPC, which could take the form of a letter from a supervisor um, stating how many years you've been doing coding for them, and then they will, um, in their records, put you down as a CPC instead of a CPCA. Now, um, cost of the exam is $300 for AAPC, and you must be a member. So that was one of the questions that we were just looking at on the slide. For AHIMA, it, you don't have to be a member but you're going to pay more um, for the exam if you're not a member. So it's $2.99 for members and $3.99 for non-members. So in my mind, they pretty much cost the same, but here's a big difference. The number of exam attempts per fee. You get to take the exam twice with the AAPC if you don't pass the first time. They call it a free retake. A HEMA, you pay each time you take it. Um, I like that comfort factor. For me, when I first took it, I said, you know, I I'm definitely a procrastinator, and I waited, you know, I took that five-day course. The lady was coming back in a month. I didn't crack a book until a week before she was coming back, and this was the m and lady, okay? <laughs> so, um, and, and really, that is what prompted a lot of the way that I teach, my bubbling highlight technique, a lot of visual stuff, because I had to. I had a week, and I said, all right, I'm going to be taking this multiple choice exam. I'm going to be opening my manual. I'm going to be looking up the answers. I wanted to jump out at me what we went over in the class. And that's what I did. I took all the key points and I jotted them in my, in my manual. And that's what I show you in my blitz, 
is, a, you know, if it's the recording, you actually see a document camera pointing down on my manual, and I'm pointing to things and, you know, sharing my notes that are in my book. So, um, but I, I did pass the first time by the skin of my teeth, I'll be honest. I was brand new, but hey, passing, passing. That's what a board exam is about. You don't say, oh, I got 100. Um, all right, the format. Um, the AAPC exam is 150 multiple choice questions, where AHIMA has 88 um, multiple choice, 8 multiple select, and 13 fill in the blanks. So you get a medical record case, and they give you a form, and you fill in the CPT and ICD code. Now, what's interesting is that of the 88 multiple choice, 18 are unscored. They're just throwing them in there because they want to test how good the questions are. And of your eight multiple select, two are unscored. So, um, the AAPC exam is proctored normally by a local chapter. So it could vary. My local chapter in South Jersey could be a nice, quiet, big, comfortable room. The one you go to might be a small, cramped room. So you might want to get on the phone and talk to the proctor and, or email them. It's, it's um, normally provided to you when you register for the exam or even before. Um, where the HEMA now uses these testing centers. And so you pay your fee and you get a ticket and then you can go to this testing center with your manuals and you sit down in front of a computer and you take your test. The length, it's five hours and 40 minutes for the AAPC and it's four hours for a HEMA. Now a HEMA used to break it up into different sections. It's no longer, it's one solid block of time. So both of them require you to manage your, your time. Books allowed, um, AAPC only allows coding manuals, and they have a uh, set approved list. So if you go to aapc.com, it'll link you to this PDF that I put up here, and I'll, I will have it in the blog article. And AHIMA has a set of approved coding manuals that's a little bit wider selection than AAPC, and they also allow you to bring in a medical dictionary, which the AAPC does not. So that was my quick and duty, quick and dirty overview um, between the two organizations. Um, hopefully that, that will help some that are at that stage of deciding.